everybody. Welcome back to Stinker, Drinker, Thinker. Uh, we're three guys. We pour some pours. We make some cocktails, and we rank them in a, a beautiful ranking system that we've developed. And we have a facelift for the th- third time. I think it's the Seems third time. Like I am um, Anthony Longano. I'm your host. I'm joined by my two beautiful co-hosts, Troy the Body of Glady. Troy, give him a shout. How are you? <laughs> and then there's Matt McKibble, who's wearing a wrinkled shirt. Matt, say hello. It's so Is it really? It's wrinkled. I can see your nipples. Well, you can always. Yeah, they are. They hi, are, how's it going? Yeah, say hello. Hey, hi. Oh, hey, hello. Hey. Oh, hi. So we got a couple things we're going to talk about. First and foremost, it's good to see, and well, we can't see you or can't hear you, but it's good to be with all of you. Um, anyway, you're watching or listening. It's been like three weeks, I think, since we gave you anything, right? Uh, no, it's at this point, it's been two weeks because we released something last Wednesday. No, we didn't. It's been yeah. three weeks. It'll be... Three weeks. Yep. This is the day before Valentine's Day, hopefully when all you guys are seeing this. And we have a a couple announcements we're going to make. So um, first off, we love you. And and in the spirit of this week, we hope you love us too. Um, We're going to make some changes around here uh, in an effort to bring you guys way more content and way better content as well. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we have a bar now. Instead of us leaving and Matt yelling about terrible puns and crackers and all this stuff. Um, we're going to make the drinks with you, which is kind of cool. So no, I, can what is, tell you, I can tell you the pun while you make the drink. Well, what is it? Nope. nope. I, I also have my buttons back. Anthony will has his buttons back and forgot how to use them. Yep. Oh, them. there it is. Just smashing them. Right? Right. The applause for the bar. Right. So the cocktail doctors make, bar. it's a fully stocked bar. Um, it's got everything you'd ever think. So no whiskey right. though. It's, we don't have any whiskey. <laughs> we don't do any whiskey on this podcast, but um, we're actually going to, We'll break in the new bar here shortly. We're going to make a, one of my favorite chocolatey cocktails. Um, we're also going to release, I think, what is it? We're basically giving you three doses of the of the boys here a week. Um, we're seeing this on a Monday. This is kind of a little introduction to what's new around here and what you're going to come to expect of us and what we're doing actually this week. Um, Wednesdays, from now on, we'll pro- hopefully we'll be able to stick to this formula. It's, we all have day jobs, so as, as time allows, but... Wednesdays will be your traditional stinker drinker thinker uh, episodes, usually the longer ones that you'll see. These Monday ones are a bit shorter. Um, and Fridays for all actual viewers out there, um, we're just going to put out a ton of cool videos on YouTube of us making drinks. I think, um, or just funny videos, yeah, blind you know, shootouts, just random blind shootouts, cocktails, ring toss with our buds. I think um, we got some really cool stuff coming up as far as like elevating your home bar. Actually, that episode might some of those episodes might come to your actual. Um, podcast platforms like Spotify and all that too, but three days a week, you get all three of the boys, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Stay tuned. Um, tell your friends, call your wives, subscribe, like, drop comments of what you want to see, changes you would make, all that kind of stuff, and all the fun stuff. And um, during our little break for making content and this little rebranding period we've known, we've been staying away from social media too. That's my bad. They, I don't even know if these guys have noticed, but I've been, oh, on, I have. Yeah, I've been on there forever, um, basically because I hate it. Um, but <laughs> it's nothing to do with you guys. It's, it's me, not you. Um, which is what every single girl that has ever broken up with me on Valentine's day has said. Yep. It's me. I know it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what we got going on this week. I think on, um, on Wednesday, we're going to take advantage of Mr. Somalier over here. Um, and I think we're going to do a chocolate pairing. With whiskey. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. Yeah. Troy's going to uh, learn us something about pairing, specifically whiskey and chocolate and single malts, maybe? Yeah. Maybe rice? Maybe bourbons? We don't a little, know. A little of everything Stay would be tuned nice. on Wednesday. Have you done that before? How do you mean? Have like, you paired whiskey and chocolate? In one way or another, yeah. Yeah. Not, not necessarily like on a professional level or um, like inviting guest into like a, a an actual establishment and say this is like a chocolate and whiskey pairing sort of a thing yeah i've done it on my own time and i guess i did it a little bit um when i was we we, we did a class a whiskey class believe it or not in when i was working in new zealand um but i didn't run it ah but i did i i did sort of contribute and there was whiskey and chocolate galore that and, sounds yeah 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 like my type my type of party. Really, really amazing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to doing that. I think it's the first time you've ever done any type of like food and whiskey pairing or food and liquor pairing on the podcast. Totally. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Chocolate and whiskey actually um, 
very arguably go better together than than chocolate and wine. I, I don't. I would. Uh, I wouldn't argue any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ganache and some red wine, though. Dude, I could do some fucked up things with ganache, dude. I'm telling you. Um, and then Matt, what's going on on Friday? What's coming out on Friday? What is coming out on Friday? Uh, I, I totally believe forgot. we're uh, doing some Valentine's Day cocktails. Ah, that's right. I think I'm doing two little riffs, and Troy's got an original. I do coming out. So yeah, I guess stay tuned for that. The original body, and I think that's going to be a YouTube only release, guys. Yeah, I think um, it makes. I think it makes sense to do if we're just doing a, a video of a cocktail. I think it just makes sense to release it in video format. I don't know unless tell us if you think the audio version of us making a cocktail would be good. I don't know if it makes sense, but let us know. Well, and and for those who are just blue and true listeners, I'm going to make a cocktail right now. So you can tell us if that's appealing. Right me out. <laughs> yeah, right me out. You're going to have to walk us through it as you make it. Yeah. Just visualize Anthony's face as he's shaking. Yeah, we're just going to break in the new space with a cocktail um, on this beautiful Monday. And then maybe tell some Valentine's Day stories while we drink it. Put it in our ranking system. Um, I am going to make a left hand. Um, oh. Yeah. Which I'm very oh. excited about. Oh, I cha- I've changed. <laughs> Both these guys know that I've had six or seven ideas of what I'm going to make yep. on this Monday episode. I didn't know you are going to make a left hand. Yeah. Neither yeah. did yeah. I. Yeah. Well, I tried making what I wanted to make the other day. Didn't come out good. Um, got me and Troy wasted. And Troy fell asleep and woke up and started yelling like Jim Ross on my couch. My wife kicked him out. <sighs> yeah, I thought that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then um, I wanted to get some sherry, but you can't find sherry in Indiana, so you can't make that one. Um, so I'm just gonna make a left hand with a lot of chocolate bitters and I'm gonna use um, this homemade liqueur I've been working on this homemade aperitif I've been working on um, which I'm excited yeah. to use and we're gonna use um, some rabbit hole derringer which is sherry finished um, rabbit hole rabbit which I'm hole. super excited about we're gonna use some starlito and vermouth um, a left hand is a boulevardier with chocolate bitters that's literally it um and it's fucking delicious, and it's amazingly complex because of that addition of chocolate bitters. I think it's one of your favorite drinks, is it not? Yeah, without a doubt. I yeah. mean, Boulevard is number one, and a left hand is just um, <laughs> a arguably better version. Of that. So why, <laughs> is, <laughs> why is that number one? Then? I, I've just, never understood. Yeah, it's 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 complicated. It's, my man. favorite drink is a Boulevard, and my number two is also a Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, I um. So for all you Negroni lovers out there, a Boulevardier, and we did a we did a in our classic stirred cocktails week before, which uh, what do we um, pre V P V uh, bef- or no B V the B V time period before video oh. when we did stirred cocktail <laughs> yes. week, yeah. we did a Boulevardier in there, but it's essentially like a a whiskey Negroni except it's not equal parts. I think some people would even argue that Negronis could not be equal parts. I don't. I make them equal parts. I don't really care. They taste fucking delicious, but it's um. Some sort of like aperitif or Campari vermouth, sweet vermouth, and bourbon. And um, it's usually three quarter ounce, three quarter ounce, and then an ounce and a half of bourbon um, for a Boulevardier. Um, This stuff is cool. And the reason why I chose all this stuff for Valentine's Day is the PX Sherry finished rabbit hole always kind of reminds me of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Always. Obviously, we're putting Aztec chocolate bitters in the drink. Chocolate. Um, The vermouth kind of just adds like this robust like fruit flavor. So it's kind of like chocolate, dark chocolate cherries type of deal, you know. And then this stuff is surprisingly floral for the drink too, which also kind of fits. This is um, this is kind of like a little. I would say it's like the bittering level of Campari, but it's it's more of a, it, it's definitely got more of like a, a floral vibe to it. This batch in particular has a little bit of a floral vibe, according to my, um, my my liquor extraordinaire over here. That's kind of the way he rated it. I actually really like it in a drink. Whoops. Um, second batch is not as floral, but. Coming to a shelf near you, never. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, also, I wax sealed it, and Troy's the only one I know who can open that without cutting himself. So, I'm going to go get the bar set up. We'll make a drink. We, we'll drink it, and Troy's going to open that. Should we do a cocktail break? Just do a tra- cocktail, cocktail transition? Cocktail transition break. <laughs> yeah. Hit it. And welcome back from a cocktail transition. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> That doesn't sound as good. Oh, that doesn't sound as good. We'll work on that. Oh, but man. Anthony, look at that. Bandy's at the bar. Look, welcome to the Stinker Bar, everyone. We have no whiskey here. No we whiskey. We don't make any whiskey cocktails. Um, stinker Bar. Yeah. <laughs> well, those guys have two frothy boys over there, and I'm getting thirsty, so I want to break it in. But, yeah, we're going to make a left hands. Um, so a couple things we'll need. 
Um, we're gonna start with a stirring vessel and uh, some Aztec chocolate bitters. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some Fee Brothers. Um, you, you ever like drank this stuff by itself, Troy? Yeah, absolutely. Just like a you know, like like a cup of coffee. Yeah, seriously. No. No. Um, <laughs> typical left hand is three dashes. <laughs> we're going four because it's thanks Thanksgiving. <laughs> I swear to God, the two most pointless holidays yeah. is Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. It's my favorite holiday, so I'll give you a pass. Valentine's Day or no, Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Yeah, that's not surprising. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've seen, I've seen how much you eat. Hey, yo. I'm the fattest guy here, and I eat the least amount. Yeah, well, yeah. You know. All right, one, two, three, four. That was five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It's fine. Oh, right. man. And we're going to... Um, so any, any aperitif will work. Or Campari. Campari is actually... Technically part of the Amari family, which we'll probably get into at some point. Get but, body, um, just because it's gentian heavy, it's got a bittering agent in it. But we'll get into that in tomorrow week, which is on the calendar at some point. But again, a typical recipe for a boulevardier. So three-quarter aperitif, three-quarter uh, sweet vermouth, and then a, 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 an ounce and a half of your favorite bourbon. Um, I think the Starlino is robust. I absolutely love it. It's sweet. tastes like fruit. Um, and then I, the, the PX Sherry finish, obviously, on the bourbon. and just I, That's like such a chocolatey bourbon. You know what I mean? It's yep. absolutely delicious. So um, three quarters here of my floral yet Campari-esque um, stuff. This stuff's really good, guys. I'm, I'm, maybe we'll uh, send out some samples. Um, learn not, some but not ship them because that would... Yeah, be we'll send them out. You come no. pick them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, come, come to our house, the Stinker Bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Stinker Bar. I, I can't wait till we have live events here, man. Be good. Yeah, I think we have some on the schedule, maybe. Uh, we will, shortly. Now, I love Rabbit Hole Whiskey. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to give some feedback to them. You see this stuff at bars all the time? Pour spouts don't fit in here. These bottles suck for pour spouts. Mm -hmm. And I love pour spouts. Makes me make my guests drinks quicker and more accurately. Um, so I'm going to pour this one nice and slow. Yep. Beautiful. Three quarter, three quarter ounce and a half. Do they have like wide power pour spout mouth things? Like different or is it pretty much standard? As probably, far as I, I as far as I know. As far as I know, it's standard. Yeah. 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 Put my vermouth back in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. The moot. No, the moot. It's going bad. Put it away. Alright. Matt, who was the first girl who dumped you on Valentine's Day? First girl to dummy on, or boy, on or boy. Valentine's Day. I never got dumped on Valentine's Day. I think I think most girls have the courtesy not to because they dump me after Valentine's Day. Yeah, because they're like, like 12, uh, you 12, bought me on chocolate. The, on the yeah, like you bought me chocolate and flowers. I you, you know, that's all I wanted out of you. And now you're now you're dead to me. You're dead to me. You're fucking dead to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big Valentine's Day guy. I do appreciate it. You're not. I think it's nice to do. I typically do something for my wife, but eh, I don't know. I like Thanksgiving yeah. better. <laughs> I like Christmas. That got ruined this year because my good friend, well, my ex friend Matt gave me COVID. <laughs> That's a my, different Matt. Yeah, different Matt. Different Matt. Yep. Sat right here. And you all remember, actually, my cousin Vince pointed this out. He sent me a text message. He goes, Hey, remember when you got COVID? Yep. And I was like, Yeah, I ruined my Christmas. And he's like, Do you remember like the week before when you recorded an episode with Matt and said, Hey, Matt, I'm going to, when Matt the whole time was tasting and saying, Oh, I can't taste this. Yeah. I can't taste this. I'm oh, yeah. sick. I can't taste this. I don't have COVID. I can't taste I this. I didn't have COVID. Yeah, you did. I didn't. And you and, did. And I, and I said on there, <laughs> By the way, look at this beautiful frosted glass. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Frosted said, like Matt's soul. I can't not drink midwinters. I have to finish the drink. I said, Andy, you sure you want to do that? I have a con I'm congested. I have a cold. And you, you said, go, I don't you care. And you said, I can't taste it. Yeah, I said it just like fucking Batman. Get out of here. I don't care. <laughs> midwinters, can we trust it? <laughs> well, frosty. Uh, what are you doing for a garnish over there? Um, I'm just going to use an orange peel. Okay. Boulevardiers typically have like a cherry, or left hands will typically have a cherry. Um, I don't know. I know Matt's a big fan of cherry, so I didn't want to put one in. I actually uh, like orange just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing, I'm expressing an orange peel, putting it in the glass beautifully. Um, beautifully. I don't really have any good Thanksgiving memories. <laughs> I'm coming over. Coming over. All right. And cheers, guys, to the first cheers. first drink in the new place. Cheers to the drink in the place. Hopefully, it's good. Mm. And it is. Woo! Woo! A little bitter. That's nice and bitter. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very bitter. Is that mostly the? That's my stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's almost like there's Baker's chocolate in there, like shaved. Shaved chocolate. I mean, I put a lot of bitters in it. Yeah. Chocolate bitters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I dig it, man. I like it. I, I honestly think that these drinks are like, I love Manhattans, and I love I love Negronis. I love Boulevardiers. Like, I think a Boulevardier and a Manhattan are like, they should go on a Valentine's Day date. Like, I think they're like. <laughs> <laughs> what would they make if they, if they had a. a They'd Valentine's make a, Day, they would make a Manhattan Boulevard. Man, Manhattan Boulevard is a good street name. Yeah, that's what yeah. they would make if they mm. went out and had a Valentine's Maddie Day. Bully. Maddie Bully. Yeah. Hey, little Maddie Bully. Hey. What are you doing? Mm. Mm. Well, this is not a this is not a bad way to uh, ring in the new space. I will say. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Troy. Yes, yeah, sir. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is what we're going with. Valentine. Memory. Yep. What's the question? What's your best Valentine's Day memory? Do you have one? Um, not really. I've worked most of them in the last decade. Um, so have you seen some, working in a bar and or a restaurant, have you seen anything crazy? Have you seen a crazy proposal? Have you seen people getting their drinks thrown in their face? No, no, I've never seen. That. Can you at least like make shit up sometimes? Yeah, I'm really sure bad can't at this lie. Sort, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, I'm so bad. <laughs> Tell them about that one time you served Derek Jeter. <laughs> no, and, we did that. And already. then and Where then and then uh, Alex Rodriguez walked in and tried to fuck J Lo or whoever the hell. <laughs> yeah, that's and, while Derek was proposing to her and like. Like they, Derek got up and Alex punched him in the face and then Derek fell into you and you dropped that whole 16,000 bottle of Remy Martin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was a King Louie, I think. It was a, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, so I'm going to start making a Valentine's Day stories about you guys. Okay. Tell me how me and Troy met on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, Valentine. It was at... Valentine. It's at Hebrew school. Matt was teaching. Oh, I was. Um, he was teaching. Yeah. And it was in a Red Bank, New Jersey. Um... A lot of people come over from Cherry Hill for that. You ever been to Cherry Hill, New Jersey? Nope. Yeah. Ever been to um, New Jersey? Oh, really? I don't think so. Yeah. And um, Matt was teaching. It was Sunday school. No, that's that's Christian, right? So Hebrew it's school. Hebrew school. Yeah. On, okay. On yep, yep. Yeah. And then, um, sorry, guys. I got expelled from two Catholic schools. Just not, you know, me and God, we won't be going out for drinks. Let's put it that way. Respect to you guys, though. Um, especially respect to Matt. But so Troy was a student. Troy, <laughs> Troy failed. And... His mother was like, you know. Oh, my God, you failed. <laughs> oh, Troy. God forgives Troy, but I don't. You're going to Sunday school. And, or, damn it, Hebrew school. So okay. and then Troy was sitting there, and he's like, you know, got one of his um, um, rock candy Yamakas? earbuds. Oh. In what are the, the candy uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Skull candy. Skull candy. Oh, wow. He's got one of the skull candy that's earbuds back. in that's yeah. like tied to his 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 Walkman, and he's just noticing. And, and Matt's teaching, and With he's yipping and on. yapping, and his yarmulke's bopping up and down. And all he can see is that Matt's <laughs> as they do. Matt's nipples are just fucking cutting. cutting they always do cutting the stained glass mm -hmm. in in the church. Uh, if this temple. Get, if this doesn't get people to watch our YouTube, but nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and he, Troy was just. He was fitzing. He's fitzing, sweating in his chair. And Matt, <laughs> Matt caught him. So Matt dismissed. The bell rang. Oh, my God. The bell rang. And it, everyone got up. And Matt was like, all right, everyone, but Mr. Verglotti um, is dismissed. Mr. Verglotti, I need to have a word with you. And um, so come closer. Come come sit at my desk. And he just whipped out a you know, little plate of matzo crackers. <laughs> just carry him around. Yeah, know? just carry him around, man. Yeah, I know. You know? As I do. And, and you know. Next thing you know, it's like an episode of South Park. Just I was going raw dogging. Wow! Yeah, that took, that took a turn. <laughs> yeah, that's all it took. And that was the best Valentine's Day you guys ever had. I, I like that ever. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Forgot about that one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah, great one. One for the one for the books. You, you know? guys didn't know this drink is strong. It is a little strong. It's a lot of liquor. Lacquer. Lacquer. Well, if yeah. you uh, to were to rate your first cocktail you ever made at this bar. Yeah. Drinking on this podcast, what would you give it? Well, I drank it quicker than you guys. Okay. Um, I'll call it a thinker. Thinker? Yeah, a sluggable thinker. Not quite a drinker, just a thinker. Sluggable and not a drinker? <laughs> it's a it's a sluggable drinker thinker. You don't think it's a thinker drinker? It's a thinker drinker, yeah, of oh, course. Okay. okay. I didn't get there yet. You Everyone's cutting me off. It's true. Sorry, you know? Sorry. Sorry. So I was in traffic the other day. I got cut off! I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, oh, who are you fucking cut off? Anyway, Troy, I'm gonna 
also called a thinker drinker because currently it's a thinker, but once the large cube dilutes just a little bit more, um, it's going to start to showcase the secondary and tertiary aromas. Ah, those are big words. Getting ready for our pairing episode, starting to yeah. whip out the, the liquor words. Which will make it even more of a thinker, but it'll also allow for a lot more drinkability as well. Say that Say that one word again. Which one? Say it again. Tertiary? Oh, be careful. Tertiary? Be careful. Those nips are cutting. Be careful. Sure, just go. <laughs> um, Tur- I, I think I 1,000% agree in that it was at first a thinker. It has now slowly become more of a drinker. So by default, it is a thinker drinker. Yeah. I have to agree. It's my style. It was definitely like bitter. It was like, oh God, this is like bitter, like just like, whoa, it woke me up. And then as I go into it, it's like, oh, this is a lot more like you get a lot more citrus and kind of the fruity, almost like cranberryness comes out yep. of the uh, the homemade Campari-esque thing. And uh, yeah, I, I, it's definitely changing a lot so far. Yeah, I think it's like not perfectly balanced. Yeah. I think I think it is a bitter lover's drink. I also think it's a chocolate lover's drink. Um, but I, I get all three components. Besides, I mean, four, actually. I get all four components. Um, left hand is definitely something to keep in your arsenal. That's, if you got burned sure. on Valentine's Day and you're bitter and you want to make a cocktail about yep. it, this is like like the gentleman Rakantor. He would probably write a story about a story about this. I Adam, got, write write a story about this. You got this, burned bud. by by a lover on Valentine's Day and you became bitter about all of Valentine's wow. Day. It's ruined yeah, for you he's forever. Gonna, he's gonna run with that. Yeah, yeah, and this is the cocktail you make. So maybe we'll have to ship him a, or not ship him a bottle. But get him a bottle or a He was supposed to come here last so month, we and we couldn't make anything happen. Well, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Space. Yeah, now we have an actual space. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, listen, um, thanks for hanging out with us uh, on this thanks. first Monday episode. Inaugural. We hope all of you get laid tomorrow. Uh, we're not. I mean, I've been married for 10 years. Um, I we don't, First and foremost, I mean, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. The laid thing is another conversation. Um <laughs> Wednesday, we'll be doing, uh, <laughs> stay tuned for Wednesday. Um, turn on notifications if you're subscribing on YouTube. We'll, we'll, it'll ping you when the episode drops. Um, you can hit the auto-download button on Spotify. Um, it'll just be there for when you're driving to work. Um, but Wednesday, we're going to do a whiskey and chocolate pairing with Troy, the chocolate-loving body of Glotti. Um, eat chocolate off Troy's body. Yeah. Biglotti. On that note, Troy, once you swallow. It is Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Lead us out, Troy. <laughs> oh, is that what he sounded like? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh.